Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time for Moed Sharaga, the appointed time of refreshing. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 get ready, get ready, get ready to be blessed and refreshed. Get ready, get ready, get ready to be blessed and refreshed. Moet Shelraga. Let's go to the Word of God. Let's hear His Word and be blessed. And be fresh mm-hmm. in his presence, this fullness of joy at his right hand, pleasures forevermore. I want to be in his presence forever and ever. Yes, I do. More Moet shall raga, Moet shall raga. The appointed time of refreshing. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, in the presence of the Lord. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go. To the blessing of God, the blessing of God. Mm-hmm. I wanna go, I wanna go in His presence. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The word of the Lord is coming from the gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 10, verses 17 to 20. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, when the 72 disciples returned, they joyfully reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Yes, he told them, I saw Satan falling from heaven as a flash of lightning, and I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you, but don't rejoice just because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered as citizens of heaven. And the note says, the disciples had seen tremendous results as they ministered in Jesus' name with his authority. They were elated by the victories they had witnessed and Jesus shared their enthusiasm. He helped them get their priorities right. However, by reminding them of their most important victory, that their names were registered in heaven. This honor was more important than any of their accomplishments. As we see God's wonders at work in and through us, We should not lose sight of the greater wonder of all, our heavenly citizenship. My beloved, my dear sisters and brothers, I come to remind you today that God has given us authority. He has given us power. Acts 1 and 8 says, and ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses. 
God has given us authority. He has given us power. He has given us the the ability to use his name. We have rights to use the name of Jesus. So when we pray, when we do things, we should do it in the name of Jesus Christ. The disciples came excited to report to Jesus. Jesus, we cast out demons and they listen to us because we use your name. We, we have success in your name. And Jesus said, that's great, wonderful. But don't rejoice just because the demons listen to you. Be happy about this fact, that your name is registered as a citizen of heaven. Hallelujah. Do you realize that you are a citizen of heaven because we are the kingdom of God? Because we have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are citizens of heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to be reminded that no matter what you go through, it does not matter because you are citizens of heaven. So the question is for us today, what are you doing with the power that God has given you? He said he gave us authority. What are you doing with your authority? We don't want to abuse our authority but we certainly don't want to misuse it and let it lie dormant, but we want to use the authority that our God has given us. We are his ambassadors here on this earth and it is our job, it is our, our responsibility to pray the kingdom of God, to pray that his will be done on earth, right? Jesus taught us how to pray. He told his disciples, he said, say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. This is our job to decree and declare that the will of the Father will be made manifest here on this earth. He's given us power over everything on this earth. Every creeping thing, every animal. He's given us power and dominion. So again, I ask you, what are you doing with your power? What are you doing with the authority that God has given you? Are you making a difference? Are you making a difference in your home? Are you making a difference on your job? Are you making a difference everywhere you go? We are the light of the world. But are you hidden? Are, are you hidden? Are you hiding your candle under a bushel? It's time for us to shine. Sons of God, manifest. It's time for us to take our rightful places. And it's time for us to use the power, the, the power that God has given us, the dudamus, the azusia, power. Because he's given us the authority. We have the right as citizens of the Most High God, we have the right to put things in order, to call things in order, to decree a thing. According to the Word of God, we can decree it. So I'm decreeing that you are healed in the name of Jesus. I'm decreeing that your soul is fat and flourishing because God said, Beloved, above all, I would that you would prosper, be in health, even as your soul does prosper. So once our soul is in alignment with the word of God, then we will be prosperous. The word of God says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his, his riches and glory. I'm calling your finances in order in the name of Jesus Christ. What are you doing with the power that God has given us? The scripture says, and I have given you a authority over all the demons and all the creeping things. I've given you authority. I've given you, you have, yes, you, you have authority. You have authority because God has given authority to every one of his children. Every son of God has authority here on the earth. 
and heaven backs us up. <laughs> Isn't that great to know? That the Lord God, the supreme judge of the universe, he backs us up. All we have to do is repeat his decrees, repeat his declarations. We can use his name. <laughs> we can use his name. We can use the blood of Jesus. Beloved, the Lord has made us more than conquerors. So there is no excuse. What are you doing with your power? That's the question for today. I'm determined to use what you gave me. I'm determined to use your power, Lord. I'm determined to make a difference in this world. Yes, I will. I am determined to make a difference. I am determined to live for God. I am determined to represent my daddy well. Mm -hmm. Get the glory out of my life. Get the glory out of my life. Get the glory. Get the glory from me. Get the glory, get the glory, get the glory from my life. Get the glory, get the glory from me. Hallelujah. Come on, let's pray. Father, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you giving you praise, glory, and honor. Because you are such a good, good God, we just come before you thanking you, praising you, honoring you, magnifying you. Because you have been so mighty good to us. And we say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for providing for our need according to your riches and glory. Thank you, Father. We do give you glory. We do give you praise, Lord God. We lift you up. And we magnify your holy name. We give you glory. We give you glory. Oh God, you're worthy, Lord God. We give you glory and honor. Father, we ask that you would help us to be vessels of honor meet for your use. That we will use the power appropriately. That we will use the power, Lord God, that we have received from you. And that we will give you the glory, honor, and praise. That we will make you smile and make you proud, Daddy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of fear, doubt, and unbelief. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just give you glory and honor. We just give you glory and honor. Give you glory, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God, we bless you and we honor you. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, beloved, what are you doing with the power and authority that God has given you? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's time to dust it off, <laughs> per se, dust it off the shelf, dust it off, take it off the shelf, dust it off, and get busy. In the name of Jesus, get busy. Do what God has called you to do. In Jesus' name. Beloved, it says, when Moed shall rather, the appointed time of refreshing, continue to be blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom. Mm -hmm.